Hello and welcome to another CAD clip on AutoCAD 2007 3D and we're talking about the um, 3D rotate command off of my dashboard and my 3D make control panel and uh, this is not a new command uh, necessarily but uh, changed and definitely just gotten a lot easier. One of those things um, as a trainer that I really appreciate where it, it, it just makes my life a lot easier explaining um, how to do uh, draw in 3D um, by using these tools um, our dynamic UCS and our 3D move and our 3D make and all these wonderful tools that we have our push pull and extrude improved etc so um, with our this is an easy lesson um, 3D rotate what it allows you to do is to pick a base point somewhere, anywhere, select objects, and rotate about any specific axis. But in the past, it was very difficult because we had such a two-dimensional um, approach to rotating in 3D, and it was near impossible to explain to people how to do it. So now it's just gotten a lot easier. So as an example, I'll start my 3D rotate command and it'll ask me to select objects just like a 2D rotate command and I can pick this object I can pick more than one object if I want okay hit enter and now I get this um, nice little um, 3D um, rotating um, kind of a gyroscope where it shows you the different axes so now it's asking me for a base point so what I'm going to do is I can go around and I can use all my snaps by using my object snaps, etc. I'm just going to pick a point there. Now that I've picked that point, it asks me to pick a rotation axis. Watch what happens when you hover over the different circles. If you hover over here, it shows you this circle rotates about that axis green axis that you're seeing this red one which turns gold rotates about that axis about the axis okay you have to understand that term the blue one rotates about that axis okay so I'm gonna say okay well I want to rotate about this red axis so all I have to do here is pick and watch it turns gold and I select now as I'm rotating, I'm rotating in the yellow direction here. Watch what happens. If I take my ortho off, I have to pick a base point okay, of the rotation. So I'm going to turn my ortho back on. Watch what happens. I'm going to pick a point here and now I'm going to rotate up this direction. Okay, I'm going to take my snap off now. Rotate this way, rotate this way, and rotate this way. Now I can also type in a number okay so rotating from that base point around to wherever I want based on that okay I'm gonna undo that back okay we'll try this again 3d rotate this object enter this time I'll pick a base point of here now as I'm rotating it says pick a rotation axis well I'm gonna rotate about the blue one which is flat and now it wants to me to pick a first angle and a second. I'm going to take my ortho off and now I can pick here and you can see I'm rotating in that yellow. Look, I'm going around the yellow loop here. Okay. And the blue line is the axis about I'm rotating. I can simply type in 45, rotate that by 45 or minus 45 or whatever I want. Okay. I could take, uh, let's just take this guy here okay 3d rotate pick here enter base point is going to be the quadrant down there now I want to rotate it this way so I'm going to hover over the green axis so it turns yellow pick and now it's a matter of do I want where do I want to start my rotation angle I want to start it here and now as I take my ortho off okay see I'm going around the yellow line I can rotate that by whatever angle I want. Minus 90 rotates it by minus 90. Okay, we can look at our axis as we do that. So that's really all there is to it. Start your 3D rotate. Pick as many objects as you want, for that matter. Enter. Pick a base point over here. Okay, and then hover over. Read your command line. Hover over. Well, I'm going to rotate. Um, about the blue one which is flat down with a vertical click 
And now, where do I want to start the angle? Well, you know, if I use a shift middle mouse button while I'm doing this, you can see there's, it's actually going to show me, because I'm rotating around here, okay, you can do that. I can say here, and then I can rotate all those objects around there. And then I can again type in a number like 45, and then move that that way. Okay, so uh, 3D rotate, basically taking an old command and applying some new uh, some new tools to help us uh, pick our axis and then pick our rotation at angles.